Hey, glad to see you guys back here once again. It's me, our care host here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel, bringing you an unboxing and features review of a brand new board from the people over at ECS. Now, this is a really cool board. You can see it over to the left here. This is the Z77H2-AX motherboard. Now, this is a golden sample Black Extreme motherboard. First time I heard Black Extreme, I was thinking, hmm, porn, but nope. That's this motherboard, but with the way this thing looks, I could actually see it being a hood ornament on some rapper's car. This board is all gold components all the way across the board. Has a lot of good features, but this thing is really geared towards somebody who's looking for a motherboard who's got lots of features and really wants to show their shit off, because that's what this baby's all about. It's black and gold, it's badass, it's black, it's extreme. Let's jump in and take some closer looks at this motherboard. <laughs> All right, folks, like usual with any unboxing and first look, whatever it is, we're gonna show you the box. Now, the front of the box and the back of the box look pretty much the same. Now, this side has a lot of their features. So we'll start off over at the left of the box. Now, this motherboard supports all the latest graphics cards. And with the new Virtue MVP, you support multiple graphics. You can see that right here, they're switchable graphics. It means you can use any type of combination of video cards. You can also use the onboard graphics of your CPU to increase performance using the Virtue MVP chip as well. A lot of their features down here, ultra stability, friendly design. They're gonna have the intelligent utilities. These are all the latest things that these guys hear with their boards. Entertainment, they have wireless LAN, Bluetooth, Gigabyte LAN. Let's see here, I'm going blind guys. HD 8 channel audio. So a lot of different features there. Over on the other side of the box, we've got some more stuff. I'll try and make it glare, not too much. Just says extreme performance for your gaming station. Three-way GPU configuration, PCIe generation three, you guys know that. DDR3, 2667, that's really good. Here we see their Cool Tech 4. I guess this is a heat pipe design we're gonna see on the motherboard. You guys notice the unboxing. I'm not really too familiar with this motherboard, but, but basically there are a lot of features on this board. So let's just spin it around real quick. As I told you guys before, all the components on this motherboard are gold and black or jet and gold. Shows all those off here. Their golden stability, golden royalty, golden quality, golden cooling, just golden, it's golden. Now here again on the front, it says 2800 plus overclocked memory. On the back, we saw a little bit different number. That's no big deal. So first I'll pop the little cap right here, open the top up. Let's go ahead and just set this thing down and pull it out of the box. There's thundering lightning outside. As I dropped the box, both my animals, the dog and the cat went jumping up like it was an explosion. So there's actually one more tab right here. Fully pull everything out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that tab, clip this out. I'm gonna go ahead and set the motherboard off to the side real quick though. And then let's go over all the stuff that actually comes inside of the box, which would be the content. So, kind of stuck in here on the handle, pull it out of the way. All right, we'll get some sound effects right here with the cameraman as I take the box and I throw it. Oh! All right. So, here we go. Pop the cap right here again. Now, there's a lot of stuff inside this box, so I'm going to set it out here one piece at a time for you folks to see. So, right off the bat, we have this. This is their installation guide. I'm gonna go ahead and set that off to the side. We have a pair of SLI cables. Next up, we have a wireless antenna. Little things to block all the different components on your board if you don't wanna use them. On your rear IO, that is. We've got the Z77H2-AX. This is, whoops, and the CD's in there as well. And we got another one, an operation manual for the Virtue Universal MVP. We talked about this before. This is what allows you to use any type of graphics card combinations, including the onboard graphics in conjunction with your card. So I've got an, okay. As I dig through here, I've come across another SLI cable. As it said, it did support triple SLI on the box and it's coming with the cables. So here goes another little thing, a little dust covers. These go in your rear IO. You just stick them on there if you don't want dust to go into those things. I never use them, but you may want to. Came with actually two packs of those. Then we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the rear IO. It's also shiny and gold. So even if you don't like the motherboard, you can just melt the damn thing down for parts and take it over to the gold guys. So there's that, go ahead and set that down. So we got one 
two, three, four, five, six SATA cables. Now we have a little package right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this up. This I'm sure is going to be the USB 3.0 breakout box. Most of the higher end motherboards are coming with these these days. And voila, that is what it is. It's the ECS. If you wanna actually mount it on the rear of your system inside your case, it has this bracket which you can use for that if you don't wanna put it inside the front of your case. But this is all the content, and then we'll move forward and we'll actually look at the motherboard itself, or the meat and potatoes. All right. Start looking at this thing. Yeah. Now, look at this crazy ass looking motherboard. Gold and black. Has that nice new motherboard smell. Plenty of room around the zip socket. Really interesting the way they have this thing made though. You can see that all the components are completely cooled by this cooling solution and inside of there, there's actually heat pipe. I'm gonna spin that up so you guys can see that. Now, we'll start off at the top of the board. Right here, we have our first CPU fan header. I'm gonna bring this over so the camera can see that. That begins right here. Then we're gonna go up here to the top where you see it says easy measure point. This is so you can hook your diagnostic tool directly up to the motherboard and calibrate and see what you're doing. This is a pretty good feature. All you gotta do is touch it with your stuff and away you go. Next, we have another fan header right here to the right. Next up, we have the memory. Now this is just dual channel DDR3, up to 32 gigabytes of memory. Here's our first power connector. This is the eight pin. Then additionally, on the other side of the board, I have the 24 pin power connector. We have both a start and reset button located right here on the motherboard. This is great for people running a test station and stuff like that. And we're gonna go over here to the PCI slots. We have one, two, of the PCIe times one slots. Then we have one, two, three PCIe times 16 slots, but you know that they're not gonna run that way. It'll be eight, eight, and four. Then we have two standard PCI slots, one here, one there. You can see there's additional cooling running all the way down to the motherboard. It's cool. Get a close look up at this right here where it says X Black Extreme. Okay, we're going to bounce back over the side of the motherboard. Here are all of our SATA connections. Now, it says right here, serial ATA, 6 gigabit. So that's supposedly going to mean that all of these controllers are going to be that. I believe that two of the controllers are Intel and one of the controllers is as media. Here's a very interesting port on this board. This is the new M SATA connection. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna be coming out in the future, so you'll be able to use this. And I like the way that's set at an angle. That's gonna be pretty interesting. Now, as far as the USB breakout box, we showed you that earlier. That's this piece right here. This piece right here connects right here on the motherboard. This is the USB 3.0 header right here. Then we have one additional USB header right here. We have another system fan connector right here your SPDF audio, and that's pretty much all the connectors that really matter on this board. Just take a quick shot of it, let you guys see everything again. Notice all the gold stuff in between everywhere on the board, everything where it can be gold is pretty much gold. All right, folks, now let's take a look at the rear IO on this board. Now, this board to me has some features that are kind of whack. I'm not really quite understanding what's going on with this, but I'll start with the left-hand side where we see we have the Bluetooth connection here. Then we have two standard USB headers, eSATA. Here is the clear CMOS. Now, here's where the board, to me, honestly, I don't mean to get on ECS's case, but this, to me, is a fail. Why do we have a standard old-school VGA connector on here when this board supports DisplayPort technology? So I have an HDMI port and a VGA port? I mean, I don't know. That to me is just really crazy. I'm not really down with that. Moving on, we see right here, we have the Wi-Fi connector, two more standard USBs, another eSATA port there. Over here, we have a total of four USB 3.0 ports. We have our RJ45 LAN. Then we have both our optical and our standard analog 8.1 surround sound connections all right here. Ugh. I just gotta say folks, as far as this rear IO comes out, to me, I'm not happy with it. Somewhere between this and this, they've sacrificed something here. I'm just, I'm not really liking that. This should have a display port on it. 
it should also have a normal DVI port on it. So as far as this rear eye goes, folks, I don't know. I'm not really happy with this. Let me know your guys' opinions. And that's pretty much it. This has been the unboxing of the new Black Extreme ECS Golden Board Z77H2-AX. Thanks for watching.